This is the second food plot on the play. Been here for 10 years. Uh, my hunting blinds are right there. I archery hunt out of the blind mostly. Also use the hang-ons and the ladder stands. Been many, many deer killed here. Turkeys. I just killed my turkey this year right over there by that log. Right there. Called him up. Uh, the property goes 100 yards up through there and then straight back northeast. Uh, Where'd you, where'd you shoot the turkey? Right over right here? Right there by okay. that log. Right by that log right there. Just on the other side of that log. Got it. From Got there. It. Got it. Uh, and what about, about the ferns? The ferns? Lo all these ferns. Yeah? I bought both kinds. I got the fiddler fern and the other ferns. The fiddler is edible, but this here, this property, especially down there where we was at earlier today. Right. The land is solid fern, coated solid. They are marketable. They get ten dollars a planter full. Wow. Okay. Out of them. Okay. Uh, but this place, this food plot's been here ten years. This is my food supply. Other than where I go otherwise, but this in hard times living down here, maybe feeding them here and having greenery for them and whatnot. I've always got food, meat. I process my own meat, I hunt with a bow, and it's excellent deer hunting, turkey hunting, squirrel hunting. We have a few rabbits. Uh, you, won't, you can't go hungry here. Edible plants are here. Uh, all these nut trees, we have the white oaks, the red oaks, the black oaks, the pin oaks. We even have chinky pen here. There's chinky pen right up on the ridge up there. That's the only acre we can eat without blanching it. They grow here, they are here. These trees are long and tall, they're all marketable. There's more of this on the back side of the property behind the cabin. There's pines back there we can't reach around. And they're 80 foot tall. There's everything you need here, except flour, sugar, salt, and coffee. Otherwise, you can raise your own food here. You have your own meat here. The water's here. You can do whatever a person wanted to do to up, upgrade and update the, the water system. But for 10 years, I've lived down here. I'm, I've got a hunting spot up there on that ridge and several deer. My grandsons have killed deer up there with their bows up on there, about 150 yards up in there. There's just deer everywhere. I've got 10, like I said, 10 deer stands on this 20 acres. And they're all in a spot where you can kill a deer. Yeah, a lot of people like deer hunting property. This exactly. is one beauty. Well, this place right here has kept me and meat for twenty years or for ten years. Right, and secluded, secluded, secluded. Oh my gosh, this... it's secluded. There's only one way in here and one way out. And if you don't have four wheel drive, you're not going to get out of here. You can get in here, but you will not get out of here. Right. And in the winter time, you need to be prepared. I have been locked in here, snow and ice so deep and so bad. It was twenty eight days before I got out of here. 16 the first time, a week or two later, 10 more days, and then there was two or three days on the third storm that winter we had, and that's only been like four years ago. Uh, so if you're looking for a secluded place. Four-wheel drive and ATV only. Yep. Cannot come down here with two-wheel drive. You will have to be pulled out. Yeah. That is a 70-degree grade up yonder. <laughs> okay, here we come. <laughs>